Hello traders, today is April 29th, it's a Monday. I'm going to look at the NASDAQ on TradingView. Let's see if I can make $200 using just one contract trading the NASDAQ using the software, the Trade Scalper. Now before we begin, remember that trading is risky. Please don't trade with funds. You cannot afford to lose. There are risks involved with trading. So when you look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is a market that moves fairly quickly. So when you trade, the nasdaq be very careful the software that i'm using is the trade scalper from day trade to win and the goal here is to make 150 dollars 200 dollars just one contract to see within the next 20 minutes now one thing you should be aware of is that i'm not using a one minute chart typically I use a one minute chart on the e-mini S&P or even when you're trading the crypto or maybe even the currencies, a one minute chart is fine. I decided to instead use a five second chart. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because with five seconds the orders come much sooner and because this is a much faster moving market, I want to be able to get in right away. So you can use a one minute chart, you can use a 30, minute, uh, 30 second chart. I just happen to use a five second chart because I don't want to wait for the candle to close after one minute, provide the signal, and then me try to enter. I just want to enter as soon as I see the signal much sooner. Uh, so I know a lot of traders are using the trade scalper in this manner. I wanted to pass that along. Now, as we're moving and seeing the market, it's going sideways. So typically, with a time-based stop or a time element when you're in a trade, really you shouldn't hold on to a losing trade for hours on end. I like to think of it like this. We entered for a reason. I want to see it go in my favor almost immediately. If it's not doing anything, if it's going sideways or whipsaw, get out of the trade after a certain amount of time. I call that a time-based stop. Now, besides that, we could use a pivotal stop. For example, a pivotal stop would be either right below that pivot where you see those wicks uh, down there at about 10.05. I think that's fine as far as a pivotal stop. It puts me in a position where I'm letting this breathe. Now, you don't have to have a pivotal stop. Uh, you could have a hard stop, uh, maybe 20 ticks or so. So I always recommend looking at the ATR. The ATR is um, that red line there at the bottom. And that's a good indication of what the market is doing. Expectations, are we slow, are we fast? is even worth trading. So right now it's up about $100 using the the entry on the trade scalper. Remember, we're trying to get exact entries. Sometimes we enter in at market, you can have a little bit of slippage, uh, but that is normal. A lot of traders, they just want $100. $100 on one contract, one day, they're done. Maybe you can have multiple contracts when you're trading. All that works. In this example, this is a simulated trading account, paper trading account on TradingView, just to give you an example of the $200 goal that I'm trying to set here. The members in our live trading room, it's a fairly large group. They all love the trade scalper. They want consistency. They want to see specific entry signals, not just it looks like it's time to go long. This is a very exact signal. It's a long at a price that you can actually get using a limit order. And if you wanna use a market order, don't chase the market. So consistency is key. We can expect losing trades, that's normal, but from day to day, you should be up for the day at least a consistent amount, whether it be $50, $100, $500, $1,000. Think of it as a goal. You enter into a trade for a reason. We have a set goal, we have a stop, we have a a target, we have a time management, and we have filters. So if the market is too strong, too slow, we filter that out. You can use the roadmap as well. The roadmap is a very popular software at Day Trade to Win to filter out trades. You don't need a lot of trades. I would say four or five trades a day. See where you stand. Over trading is a big deal. So avoid over trading. Right now I'm holding on to this position. It's maybe now, I don't know, eight minutes or so. This is where I start to see whether or not I should be getting out of the trade. So if you're looking at this signal, if you have the trade scalper, you saw the same exact signal as I'm showing you here, 
you're in it for about 10 minutes, definitely think about time to get out. Should I put a break even? Should I hold on to it for five more minutes? These are the type of rules that we try to teach our traders in our live trading room. We have a live trading room every day starting at 10 o'clock. It's very popular and I'm happy to have the large group that we have every day checking out how we're trading. For the new traders who don't have a member account, you can sign up for a free member account. You can download some free software that we have at Day Trade to Win, especially for the new users who want to understand and learn. You can get the ABC trading software and really dip your feet into the world of trading. We have a paper trading account that you can practice with. I think that's a great way to start without losing any money and you can see if this is really right for you. Now if you have any questions you can always visit daytrade2win.com. We're pretty good with the emails but sometimes we get a lot of emails so please be patient when um, requesting some support and assistance uh, because we have thousands of traders that we work with. Now if you're up a hundred dollars, up a hundred and twenty dollars, seriously consider for the time we've spent in this trade if it's worth holding on to this position any longer or better yet don't lose money if you see that the trade is starting to now go back down to where your entry get out of the trade don't be greedy if you see the market hitting like it did now the two hundred dollar close the position and be very happy that you're able to get out of it so for the traders who are watching this live alongside with me it's time to get out of the trade to hit the $200 mark. This is the example I wanted to show you on the NASDAQ. Usually I do the E-mini, but there are so many traders who are always asking me for NASDAQ, NASDAQ, NASDAQ. I wanted to show you how it's possible to trade price action using the trade scalper on the NASDAQ. If you have any questions, visit daytradetwin.com, sign up for a free member account, get those freebies, and I'll see everyone at the next video. Take care, everyone.